Good afternoon. Usually for these devotions, I find inspiration from Scripture. But today's different. Today, I'm going to talk about geometry. And we'll see how much you remember about geometry from high school. One of the best-known theologians in the 20th century was a man named Dietrich Bonhoeffer. And one of his books is called Christ the Center. So let's take that title literally. What would it mean to have Christ at the center? So I've got visual aids. Imagine that Christ is the dot here at the center of the arc or the circle. And we, all of humanity, is the arc around him. Now you might remember in geometry that a line or an arc or a circle is made up of an infinite number of points. That's impossible in the real world, but in the world of geometry, in the theoretical world of geometry, this is all possible. So, what are we, these infinite number of points surrounding Christ? What are we going to do? Well, one choice that we have is to move away from Christ as each of these dots in the arc becomes a ray. Now, you might remember from high school, a ray is a line that begins at one fixed point, but goes on infinitely. And this is what we can choose to do. We can choose to move away from each other, because what happens in the theoretical world of infinity is that eventually these infinitely long lines will be infinitely separated from each other. And unfortunately, isn't that the way the world seems to be moving? Doesn't it seem as though we are emphasizing more and more what makes us different from each other? Now, let me be clear. Part of the glory of God's creation is the diversity, the diversity of everyone and everything. We can celebrate the fact that each of us is different. Each of us is unique. But there's a difference between recognizing that and allowing our differences to become barriers, to become something that infinitely separates us from one another. And that seems to be the way we are going. But what if we do things differently? Sorry, I dropped one of my aids. What if, as we are these points around Christ, what if instead of moving away from him, what if we move toward him so that each of these infinite points of the circle, each person who represents all of humanity, is coming closer and closer to Christ? And do you notice what happens to the lines? They each meet at that one point who is Christ himself. Which choice are we going to make? We can choose to keep saying, well, I disagree with you. You're different from me. I don't like you because you look at the world in a different way from me. I don't like you because you look differently. You believe things differently. You do things differently. When we focus on these things, then we are those rays that are going off in an infinite direction until we become infinitely separated from one another. The key is not for us to hold hands and sing kumbaya and say, well, let's just pretend our differences don't matter. Let's just pretend like it's all okay. No. The answer is for each of us to come closer to Christ. Because as we come closer to Christ, you notice what happens? We each come closer to each other. This, I think, is part of what Paul meant in Colossians chapter 1, when he wrote that in Christ, all things hold together. <laughs> Sorry, I couldn't help but to bring at least a little bit of scripture in today's, into today's devotional. In Christ, all things hold together. In Christ, all people come together. We're not identical. We don't somehow become carbon copies of one another. But each of us, in our uniqueness that makes each of us one of the different points in the ark, each of us comes together as we come to Christ. Would you pray with me, please? Lord Jesus Christ, be at the center 
of our lives. Be at the center of creation. I guess it's odd for me to pray that, Lord, because you already are. You always already are at the center of everything. So my prayer, Lord, is not for you to be at the center. My prayer is for each of us to come to you who is at the center of all things. When we experience conflict and violence and warfare and disagreements and debates, help us to recognize that as we come closer to you, all of these disagreements and barriers fall away. Help us, Lord, to come together as your people in your name. Amen. Thanks for joining me. We'll talk again later.